I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 14th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we're going out to show a house for someone. And we ended up being out way early. And while we were waiting to go to the house, we ended up just exploring the area near Universidad Martin Lutero. And we found some really interesting stuff. So we're going to show that to you along with the house and some other stuff right after the bump. So just behind me is Martin Luther University, Universidad Martin Lutero. It's a big wall just back there. There's nothing we can really show you. We kind of walked back there and checked it out and there was, there was nothing really interesting. This is actually its entrance here from what we can tell. They have a sign that says it's 50 meters in this driveway. Uh, it's not much of a driveway. We're a little bit confused. The whole thing's very weird, but that's not what's important. What, what happened is uh, just down there, you can kind of see the wall. That is the wall of the Phoenicia, and just beyond it is San Augustine, which we showed in the video a few days ago or maybe a week ago on the 8th, I believe. And if you're looking this other way, uh, Universidad Martin Lutero is down there, and that is where the Casa Leon uh, development is, where we showed uh, also on the same day that we showed in St. Augustine. So we're in between the two, and the Phoenicia is gated, we can't get in, so we can't show that to you. But I'm gonna walk down the street that we discovered because this just lays between these gated communities, and these are just uh, open houses on a street, so this gives you a different feel for what this area is like. Now, obviously, this is a dirt road and very rural like there's very little going on we're off the main highway you have to go down some side roads to get here so you're kind of isolated naturally but you get like this wild brambles area you get some just random stuff and then you get beautiful streets that you would never expect so i'm going to take you down this street and show you what we've discovered here because it's absolutely fantastic it's not very big so i'm going to try to walk this entire road for you and we're starting off with this house that's under construction so you can see kind of what's happening. At least I believe it's under construction. If it's not, it's completely abandoned and needs to be taken over and redone. But it seems to be that like the windows have not gone in yet or anything. Uh, so very likely it's just currently being constructed. Uh, the outside wall is probably older, but it's very hard to tell. It's, it's completely possible that it's needing reconstruction. And then we have this beautiful house here. Now, on the other side, we have open space. So that is a field just behind, but a new road is in the process of being put in over there. Uh, so they're creating uh, streets for houses here. Uh, so this one is older and these are established, but still going in. Uh, but the uh, area is obviously growing and there. I mean, that is very current construction as in like the last week, the dirt is newly turned and they've just about got a road in. So these are, uh, I would say medium size. They're, they're pretty good size houses. This is definitely not small and there's lots of open space yet, but there's some gorgeous places and quite modern. But because this is not part of a gated community, you get a lot of variety in styles. Everyone can build whatever they want. Now, this place has a gorgeous garden with it. How cute is that to go with your house? That's obviously a well-maintained garden. This one is under construction, but very far along. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. The new roofing tiles going in. And a really nice garage door. I like that style looks less like a garage. Now we have an open lot. You could put in a garden or you could put in a house, obviously. All right, gonna turn around. So this one is a little bit harder to see. They have a really high garage gate. They've got some stuff blocking there. I can hear people in there, so I don't wanna be too intrusive, but another attractive house there. And you can see sidewalks are going in and going down as if this is going to expand. Another road is being made down there as well. That little booth you see there, that's a security booth where someone can work uh, and do security. Now this one is fantastic. This one with the, the beautiful grass, beautiful uh, tile walls, the whole design, the color, everything is really great. I hope that you can see it. It's really in the shadows here, but you can tell it's 
almost completely brand new. Really, really gorgeous. And a good size. We'll show the back of it here. You can see how far back it goes. So that wall, I mean, it's not, it's not enormous, but it's a sizable house. Plenty, plenty of space. Here you can see the street there as we walk down. Most everything beside me is just open field. Uh, not a not a lot of houses here, but clearly a spot where, where things are going in. I don't know if this is housing that is happening because of the university, and that's why people come here, or just because of the other developments, and it just makes for a really good place uh, to build. But this is, this is only a few minutes outside the city, so really easy to get into the city when you want, uh, but also it's very quiet. Like, you don't have any traffic. Um, you're off the beaten path, so no one's going to stumble on you except for me. Um, you are, you're quite isolated. So if you're looking for that kind of living, these things exist, but obviously they're hard to find. If they were easy to find, uh, they wouldn't be what they are. Now, these are a little bit smaller, a little bit closer together. Now, I'm not sure what this is. This is like a garage unit or something over here. Uh, definitely not a normal house, but then we have very cute white and orange house with some beautiful trees there. And this is their garage. And then we have this blue and gray, also some great trees. Now this is one construction started and stopped. You do find a bit of that here. I have no idea what you would do to get one of these. Like, would it be worth trying to find the previous owners, take it over, finish what they were doing? I have no idea. Um, but that's, that is an unfortunate thing. We still find a lot of. Now here, just going to show again, this one, this one may be active and just very, very slow. It's got a really good size wall, nice front. Um, and then that is the street over from here. I'll have to look on a map and see if we can figure out what that big white building is. Now this one we're coming upon, uh, we have a couple that are together over here. Oh, we actually have a truck coming down the street. Might be that one that's doing construction. So this orange modern one here, really attractive. I hope you guys can see it. Again, it's so much in the shadows. We're at a terrible time of day for this. The sun is on the lens. There's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, this is just, we were out in the morning doing a walk and kind of ended up uh, being here as, as we were waiting, but what a fantastic house. I love the style here. And then the one next to it is truly large because it's a, a two story. You gotta wait for this truck to come by and we're gonna be right over there to check it out. And it's got this beautiful bougainvillea coming up over the wall. <laughs> what are these? Ah uh, yeah, someone is moving in. All right, this is under construction on the right. You can see it's going to be something really nice, nice modern wall. This place is really big. Wow, very cool. Less of a modern styling. This is a little bit more traditional. You can kind of see they have all kinds of archways inside. I'm gonna put the camera up just a little bit, see if we can get a little bit of a view. I'm sure the sun is just making this terrible, so I really apologize. You can see we're most of the way down the street already. Marcel is trying to get away from the camera, but it's chasing her. It's very hard when you film with me to get away from it all. Now, this one's on the other side of the street, so we can actually see it. And it is gorgeous. I love this super modern look. This could be in Europe. This could be in Spain. This could even be in the Netherlands. Uh, it could be in Miami. Like, this is really cool. Uh, I love the little outdoor lights here. I hope you can see them. The new plants, this is a nice air way along the side so they get a breeze in there. That is a glass fronted balcony up there. You come behind a tree. You do not find this style of ultra modern too often here in Nicaragua. It obviously exists. We're looking at one. Um, and we've shown a few others, and I've been by some that I haven't shown uh, over the time we've been here, but it really the number of them is extremely few. They are they're quite the oddity, um, and they're just beautiful. Just It's such a sunny country. Uh, there's, there's so much opportunity to do beautiful architecture. 
and so much space to do it in. Uh, but so often people are focused on keeping costs down. Uh, even expats uh, are often looking to keep costs down because it's one of the reasons that Nicaragua gets chosen. And so you end up with a lot more conservative construction. But if you're looking for something really, really modern, obviously you're either gonna have to build yourself or really search hard, but the options do exist for sure. This place is quite nice on the corner. A bit more traditional. And uh, we're out on the main road. We're gonna get out of the way of the traffic. I'm just gonna pop out on the road and show you where we are. All these signs to the Martin Luther University. And I believe just in front of us, I know somewhere down here is this Promised Christian Academy. Um, I've seen it on the map, but I have not seen it in person. So we're gonna look down the road. That is down there way down, see if I can, like way down at the end, you can see some green manicured uh, uh, foliage. That is the entrance to uh, San Augustine. And then just in from that a little bit is the Phoenicia. So if you're looking at a map, that's where that is. And I'm gonna turn this is where we are on this open road, this beautiful tree. This is really a nice corner. And then this road that's a little bit dusty here uh, as you go down, we have just a little ways to go down there and we go to the Casa Leon uh, uh, development and that's where we're gonna be headed next because we're off to film a house. We had someone who was interested uh, in, in a house down there and then ended up deciding that uh, they wanted to backpack instead of getting a house, but we're scheduled to see it. And so we're heading in and we're gonna get some footage, I hope for you guys so you can see what a very small, very low cost rental can be here in Nicaragua in southeastern Leon. <laughs> I'm gonna come by this one house again because it's fantastic. You're getting extra house on this one. You can see the whole road here, right? We just walked from end to end the entire street. Nothing, uh, nothing outrageously but because it's just a street that doesn't go through to anywhere, you don't need to be gated. These houses really do hide. You don't notice them until you're down this street. And we didn't come down here because we saw houses. We came down here because we were, uh, looking, we were looking to kill some time and Martin Luther University was listed as being down here. So we turned so we could go see what it's like. And here we are. Let's sneak a little bit closer. See a little bit behind the gate. All right, we're off to go look at houses. So I wanted to start this with a drive taking us from uh, basically where we were just looking at houses. You can see it on the map there. We're starting just a little bit west of the road we actually walked down. We're gonna come down now on the road we walked. That's the modern new house on the right. I wanted to show the drive from where we were to Casa Leon, where we have this development of tiny houses that we're gonna look at today. Now this road we're gonna take to get there, I'm really surprised by what a rough road it is. This is a dirt road. Even though the side road we were just on was paved, this main road that everyone uses to get to all these developments is dirt and honestly, rough dirt. Lots of rocks, some potholes. You can get by even on a scooter or a small car without any problem, but it's not as nice as it should be. I'm. It needs to be upgraded, so that's something. Now, this is Casa Leon development. This is big. Hundreds of homes, lots of expansion. Um, now, by and large, this is a development of six basic models of home. Uh, there are exceptions to that. There's a few like almost shanties sprinkled around here and there. I have no idea why they're there. And there's a few really nice upgraded homes that are, some of them are really nice. Uh, but by and large, there are six models that repeat the majority of the time. Maybe 28, 29 out of 30 homes are going to be these repeating models. And they vary in price from just under 16,000 US to around uh, 33,000 US. That's basically the price range you're gonna find everywhere. And those are somewhat built to suit. You get a few options like colors and, and window styles when you choose those at those prices. So um, it, it's pretty much your house as you want it. And then there are some major changes you can make. There was a cool, cool mural on the side there of Dragon Ball Z and we stopped just for a second because I wanted to get some video and photos of it. And so we did that. When we went past on our walk, this house on the corner is a really nice one, uh, but we did not go up this street where we're going to look at a house today. So same houses, same general area, but we did not walk past this one to the best of my knowledge. We're going to be looking at one of the smaller houses, 
36 square meters, so it's about 360 square feet, which of course in the US, that would be the size of an apartment, not the size of a house. Uh, but in Europe and in, in Latin America, this can be a house size. All right, now we're gonna, I'm standing on the park across the street. I don't know if that's a park, but the wooded area across the street. A little nice open green area, it's actually quite nice. And we're gonna look at that small pink house right there between the cars. So we're gonna walk over there. Now, this is on the smaller side. So I grabbed some information about it. This is the Modelo Esperanza, or the model Esperanza, uh, which if you're going to purchase this, again, custom built is 20,990, so just under $21,000 US to have built in this community, not somewhere in this community. So obviously very small, but also extremely affordable. If you were looking to own an apartment style living, this is an option, but very tranquil because you're in a quiet community. This is the living room area. It's kind of like a studio with a combined dining, kitchen, and uh, and living area, And but it's two bedrooms. So we're gonna go into the, the second bedroom first. It's not really pink, it's just the window treatment. The walls are white, uh, pretty small, but completely serviceable. This would work great as an office or a small bedroom. Single bathroom, but it's a nice bathroom, very standard in Nicaragua. That's a good size shower uh, with you know toilet and, and a sink and, and a little bit of storage, no cabinets built in, unfortunately. And then this is the quote unquote master. It does have two windows. Uh, we're gonna come back to this and you can see that it's white when the, when the windows are open, uh, but windows on two sides, lots of air. This would be without air conditioning. This would work quite well. You can see there's drop ceilings though. You can put in air conditioning in a house like this and air condition the entire place really easily and cheaply. Backyard is actually quite nice. It's only dirt right now. They haven't been taking care of it, but we're going to show a water tower first. This comes with this particular unit. This one is currently available for rent, maybe to buy, but I don't know. This was already built, obviously. Uh, you can see the backyard has not been kept up, but there's a lot of potential. This space between the fences is the garage space. You would park a car there, or that's what they intend. You can also just use it for storage. You can do anything you want. Uh, with the water tower, you have really good water pressure all the time, even if the city's having an issue, which it doesn't normally out here, but in case, you would have good water pressure. You could easily put in a garden or water features. You could even put a small pool back there. This is the laundry area here on the left, and back to the living area. Again, not very big, but it works. If you compare it to a smaller apartment, this could be very comfortable. The front is attractive. You'd want to keep up the grass a little bit better. Again, no one's been here. You can see how nice it is nearby. Now we're going to go back into the master with the window open. You can see it's actually a white room, and it's very bright during the day. This is an attractive space. You could fit you know, a king bed in there, but it would take up most of the room. Typically, you're going to have a, uh, a double, um, maybe a queen at most, uh, great views. It's a beautiful area, very quiet. It's, it's very tranquil living. Uh, so this, for someone who's looking at apartment style living, this could be a really neat option where you own your own house or rent a full house and don't have any neighbors touching you. Uh, now, this particular one, if you're going to rent it from the company that builds it, builds it, it's $145 a month. This particular unit with the water tower, they're asking one. 150. That's the current move-in price for an existing place. We're just going to drive back into the city so you can see where this sits on the main road from Leon. We're coming right into Guadalupe and Fundesi. They're on the right in Ruben Dario Park. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this video, uh, places you want us to see, things you want us to do, all that stuff. Like, just let's get going. If nothing else, say hi. Say you like the video. Don't let me know. I love the discussion and it helps out the channel. Hit the like button. That helps too. If you want to support the channel directly, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And if you're looking for any information on relocation, whether it's a phone conversation or a tour guide to take you around or help finding a house, info at relocatenicaragua.com. Send us an email. We'd love to talk to you and uh, share this with your friends. Tell people about the show and we will see all of you tomorrow.